Okay, if you are watching this video, uh, I will assume you have already know how to use a stack up. So this video is to uh, explain what's the software, the setting software. So first of all, the page width and the page, that is simple. You just need to set the, uh, the same size as in culture. And for page space, you make it default 60. Uh, the value is uh, when the machine cut finished cut one page, it will move extra 60 millimeter to e eject this page so it can load the next. Uh, so for sheet, you just make it default 60. If you are cutting raw, maybe you need to change it to zero or depend on uh, where is your next page, uh, I mean the distance between first page and the second page. And uh, so here, kiss cut. Uh, kiss cut is something like this, you know, when when you use the magenta color, this one is true magenta color. When you use magenta color, uh, I will show you, the machine will actually leave, when you use magenta, the, when the machine cut the media, it will leave four dots automatically. And uh, the kiss cut is to control the distance between the, I mean, the width, length of the connection. So, I will change it to, to 20 to show you. Mm, just uh, to show you. After I change it to 20, I drag it in. Oops, 20 is too large. So I make it uh, 6 millimeter. After I change to 6, you can see clearly the distance has been larger. So let's change it back. And about the distance between left edge and top edge, uh, I will show you a picture here. You know, because for example, this is the A4 media, so for A4 media, it's 100. <laughs> so, but in actually, I mean, actually, uh, when we make fire, we will minus 10 millimeter, which makes it 200 times 287. So, uh, roughly, it should be 5 millimeter at the left and 5 millimeter, millimeter at the top. Uh, I mean, when print out, clearly, the machine will not print the image 100% in center, here maybe like a 4 or 6, here might not be 5, but it doesn't matter too much because for the machine we use a black mark, this mark is 5 times 5. So actually we have tolerance, I mean the machine just needs any point of this mark, so it can go left, to, uh, it can go left 2.5 millimeter, left to right, up and then down, still can find it. So if you just, uh, if you have uh, minus 10 millimeter, then just a set five and five will be okay. And uh, so for the market and mark width, actually this uh, parameter should be set according here, but uh, we no longer use this anymore. Uh, so it doesn't matter, you can leave it there. And for meta start X priority, you can select both, but uh, it will choose for you automatically. If you don't select it, it will also use the automatic way. Uh, so for meta start, meta start something like this. So when the machine starts to cut, the blade will uh, cut from somewhere. If you select meta start, it will be like meter of the y axis or meter from the axis. And uh, if you select the x, y, x priority, it's something like this. For example, when the machine cutting the circle, circle it's go from like, uh, let's take this one. <laughs> like this one. <laughs> and first, second, third, fourth. <laughs> so, you know, the final cut is uh, to this from the left, right side to the left side. So when the machine cuts this uh, square wheel, it will choose a point. It will either start from, I think it will start from here or here because the blade is going that way. So the machine will start, the, the next square wheel it will be start from this way, like one and then two, three, four, like this. And uh, it's maybe it's will Maybe it will start here from the first step because it's also go from right side to left side. But I think it will be here because after it finish, this is the closed dot it will go. Uh, and for the fast, fast mode and fine mode, usually we use fine mode. The fast mode only works, I think it only works for the lines. And here we go. So if you choose fine mode, when the cut, when machine cut the 
a line, it will go like uh, step one, and then the blade, the carriage will move back, and then start from two. It will go from the same way. But if you select the uh, fast mode, if you select fast mode, the machine will go like this. The first line cut from right to left, and then the second line it will be from left to right. So in this way, it cut much faster. The blade, the carriage doesn't need to go back, cut, go back, cut. Uh, we recommend you to use fan mode because when the machine cutting line is too fast, maybe you have some uh, location just didn't cut well. Anyway, it depends. And for the oops, forgot to mention when you select X to Y axis priority, it also start from it also start from the from the corner. Uh, unlike a middle start, it will start in the middle. If you use uh, X Y axis priority to refer uh, from the corner and uh, for the oops for the y axis and x axis it's actually uh, coordinate with the middle start and x y axis uh, priority for example if you select middle start uh, and the y axis start then it will from middle uh, but from from y axis this is the y axis if you select x then it will be x so let's move to the next page. Uh, for pass strategy, the scanning head uh, just to make it a default. It's something like this. Uh, the machine, the software will read uh, because when the machine try to cut the image, it can be one, two, three, four, five, six, or it can also be one, two, three, four. But uh, this is definitely not logical. So by uh, set the scan height, it will automatically arrange the automatically arrange the cut sequence by its own. And for the section die cut, uh, this function we don't use it uh, to. It's something like this, when the machine cut a straight line, for, for example, this is a 20 millimeter straight line. So I think 200, I think it will be 200. Yeah, let's say it's easy 200. And uh, if you set the section die cut to 10, like 10 millimeter, uh, 100 millimeter. When the machine cuts the straight line, it will stop in the middle uh, and then continue to cut the next. Because when the machine is moving the media up and down, maybe it will go slightly left or right. So that's why uh, we tried to use this function to cooperate, uh, but uh, it seems to not work well. So we don't set it, it anymore. For the line op uh, optimization, here we have several values. This, for example, if we set three, then it will be act like this, because um, when cutting the straight line, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, never mind. Uh, to like this, when after the machine cuts the straight line, like one, two, three, it will go back to scan the mark again to adjust, because when cutting the one, two, three line, the media is slightly moved off. Uh, and then if you set three, the machine will scan mark again after these three and then um, cut another three and then scan mark again and then cut. This is for maximum precision. For the uh, actually should be angle correction, the air and the R is something like this. For air means um, left side of the medium, left. Right means the uh, right side. Usually, uh, if you need to change it, usually you just need to change it to maybe uh, 0.2, something like this. But um, I will make the value larger so you can see. I will set 5 and uh, minus 5. So, and drag it in. So you can see the machine, the left side, this is the left side. This is the left side, it has changed the angle to the right, and the right side is changed because I use minus, so it's changed another one. Um, Sometimes when you, after you cut the fire, you might get uh, some line, for example, the line is more straight, and you can use this function to cut it. Let's uncheck it. And then, uh, here we have the port. Here, I recommend you to... Okay, in this chapter, we use default. The X crossover and the set paper is useless. Uh, before we want to want, wanted to because if you cut uh, the uh, cardboard when you cut the cardboard the machine will like uh, 
Mm, we're afraid maybe when we cut this corner, uh, the, because we cut a cardboard, this line has already been cut through. If we cut through after uh, the blade reached reach here to where change angle, we're afraid maybe the blade will make a hole at uh, this side. So we want to do one machine cut from the left and then it should uh, lift, uh, if you select a X cross or a set paper, the blade will like be lifted. Uh, so it should cut like this, right? But if you select the set paper, it will cut this line here, and then the blade will be left off, and then uh, make uh, this kind of shape. So this part will not have blade being rotated. But uh, turn out, turns out not working well, so we don't need to use this anymore. The offset, uh, uh, offset setting, sharp angle is easy to understand. I will explain, I'll try to demonstrate here. So let's say this is the blade, right? This is the blade. The blade tip is at here, but uh, for the machine, the center is here. So uh, we, it's kind of in the middle. The blade we are using is diameter is 1.5 millimeters. So divided through it will be 0.5, 0.75. I mean. Usually you just uh, remain the same value unless you are using a Roland uh, blade or the front angle. And another thing for clothes, I will show you here. For clothes, it's something, uh, for example, if you're cutting a screw, the clothes controls, for example, this is a start point, right? Yeah? So this is a start point. The clothes uh, determines if you really need to go out further or maybe be shorter. Anyway, just to make it uh, one way, okay? The used angle is, uh, used angle offset. This is for a different angle. It's quite complicated to just uh, make it the fault. The engine radio is the same. And for hardware version, uh, for the new machine, you just need 5.2. If you set for older A2, A3 version, we don't have the 5.2, we don't have the center function. But uh, for your version, I think if you are watching the video, then you should select this 5.3 version. The COM, only connecting the machine uh, to the computer. Uh, you should select the same count so you can send a file from the machine. The real data is useless. So Mark, uh, mm, this system was used when we don't have the green mark system. Now we have mark, green mark system, so it's useless. This one is for AI, but uh, I don't recommend AI because AI doesn't uh, have plugin and AI doesn't support black color, cyan color. I mean, after you generate the PAT from AI, our machine cannot recognize. Yeah. So that's it. Thanks for watching.